we're looking at this. AV room, though. Which one's that? Oh, it must be this. But why was Mr. Hicksby coming out of that room? I don't know. It's a little bit suspicious. I have to admit. up. Let's restart it. Which somehow fixes that trap, because that was from a computer with frozen memory. I don't get it. I really don't. Told you I'd get you out. Yes, I suppose we did. Assholes. I don't like them at all. And those bombs are especially the reason why I dislike them, quite honestly. And the fact of the matter is, we're going to be facing a boss later on with that same ability and I find him annoying but you are dead now so there a bit of zenny a quake one I'll have to put some more quakes into my folder at some point we're a bit short of him right now There we go. Beat him nice and fast, even though I did avoid that last bit of damage at the skin of my teeth, pretty much, or by the skin of my teeth, even. Password protected, blah blah blah, authorization, no hint. Because the no hint thing was getting a little too tempting for them. They can't just give us easy hints all the time. Jillionth attempt, because of course. Now, come on, my pals. by the way. So enjoy. Just a bit of zenny. And we got a cannon C, but I can also see our boss from over here. That's him. And he is annoying. At least I find him to be annoying. Shotgun 
shut your ass. More just a bit of zenny. And I will save the game here. I gotta do some stuff before we fight him. I'm swapping a few things around here. One of those has to be a C, so he can use that attack. And we need some quakes inside my folder. Plus, I don't need all those recovery tens, and escape I never use, literally, so it doesn't need to hang about. Hi, Cannon. Hi, there. That was not meant to be a bad pun, I promise. Let's see here. We have Spritter H and Spritter J, which is the one that I put in my folder. I'm gonna check that. Ah. Uh, That's right, the spreader combo thing also works that same way. Little bombs. Those can replace the mini bombs. Shockwave, yep. Yeah. Bunch of K's. Yeah, let's sort them alphabetically, it's a lot easier that way. We have Shockwave K and L right now. Again, sort alphabetically. Immunity. That's fine. But... I'm gonna swap out one of my recoveries. Because I never use those recovery chips. Well, not the recovery tens. We get up to the point of having like recovery 30, 50, or 100 and to heal me up in the middle of a big fight. And once we get down to the major combats against the uh, more end game and tougher bosses, then I'll use the recovery chip. But this early stuff, I just don't need it. Looks like this lock is linked with something else. You need to go find an ID card for verification. I'll bet that Miss Mari has an ID card. We have to go find her. We got to find Miss Mari, our actual teacher. Rather than the crazy guy obsessed with battle chips. No, we seem to have all the doors open. That's locked until we destroy the program, so we got one more we gotta take care of. I'll check this first and that'll be right there, <laughs> teacher lady. Hey there. Which somehow translates to help me. How we know that, I'm not sure, though the being tied up and gagged is probably a dead giveaway. And yes, we're going to help her. I'm not uh, uh, going to try and be an evil person or anything. As if you can.
can in this series. Thank you. I can't believe that guy hates me. An ID card? Sure, thanks for saving me. And uh, I'm just going to say that we tell... We do actually tell her what's going on and why we need it, but that sort of thing is boring to display in text. In what's essentially a kind of action card game. Please, try to help everyone. Yeah, working on it. So yeah, seeing as this is kind of like an action-focused card game where you select cards in between combat rounds. Albeit with combat rounds that are live rather than turn-based and that take place on a grid. But yeah, because of all that, the little explaining the details and stuff is not all that interesting, honestly. I will save the game now, and press the button. It's password protected. ID card accepted. S code input sequence activated. By guessing. Let's see. Four, three. Let's try that again. Okay, four, two. two. us in, which leads to cutscene and boss battle. And everybody, meet Number Man. He's our boss this time around. I didn't think you'd make it this far. You've got to stop the announcement program, quick. But being a World 3 slave is fun, isn't it, Mr. Higsby? I'm sorry, but this guy reminds me so much of, like, some robot or something that I have to do that robot voice crap. It's just fucking hilarious. Yes, with my new World 3 salary, I can buy lots of rare chips. I knew it! You call yourself a teacher. Heh. <laughs> I did feel a little bad at first, huh? Mr. Higsby. Yes, but then I knew I'd do anything for rare chips, huh? Who needs rare chips bought with the World 3's dirty money? Exactly. You are not a nice person, and I do not like you anymore. Huh, silence. Now you face me and Number Man. No problem. Let's go, Mega Man. Battle routine set. Execute. We're going to execute you. And as you can see from here, he has quite a bit more in the way of hit points. And those balls are what we have to put up with. Because that's his primary attack. And what they do, as you can probably guess, is they damage you, and they have a certain number of hit points, which is determined by uh, the number on them. And I'm doing alright, but it's getting pretty close for me. Cutting it close in a lot of places. But this guy is also pretty 
fragile. Because he goes into immunity from damage mode with pretty much any battle chip attack I use. Which gives me a marked advantage, as well as the fact that he basically does not move at all. And that dice thing is another of his attacks, which I don't remember exactly how it works, but it involves a die and it does damage. The damage, uh, if I have to guess, it damages 10 times the number that rolls, uh, and that he ends up rolling with it. That's probably what it is. Yeah. That is what happens. By the way, roll up. Finish him off, please. And heal me a little. Even though I don't need healing, since you're going to kill him for me. Or delete him, I should say. Nighty night, number man. It has not been a pleasure. And that fight took too long for me to get anything out of you. Other than 1500 zenny. Note to self, buy a power-up or two. I really need to be able to do more damage with each attack and charge. And shit like that. Which I can't do right now. It's kind of a pain, actually. Ugh, 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 ugh. See? You've been wrong all along. Gah. Let's see you and your rare chips now. Sniff, sniff. Len, I think he gets it now. Yeah, well, I'm of the opinion we should just keep on hammering it home. Just because he was kind of a bit of a bastard, let's be honest. I'm right, aren't I? It's true. Len is right. I should collect chips by busting viruses. I'll be good now, I promise. Treat chips sometime? Sure, why not? But... You do have to pay for your crimes. <laughs> yeah. I always thought this part was kind of amusing, how this guy basically tried to help a criminal organization destroy the world, or something to that effect, and we're cool with him after a little lecture. I always thought that was kind of amusing, really. So you better do something to help everyone out, okay? Then, restart the server and put the net back to normal. Okay. Now let's press the button, and we can get rid of this music. And go back to the normal stuff. There we go. That should be good. Mail, how's it look? Then, the announcement program stopped. You did it! Hey, not bad, Lan. Not bad? You mean great. Yeah, well... You ain't seen nothing yet. Mega Man? What? Good job. Don't relax just yet, Lan. You got English class coming up. Oh man, I fixed the server too soon. <laughs> yeah. It's a running joke in the Mega Man series that Len is basically a bit of a slacker and really doesn't like school all that much, but I imagine they're probably exaggerating it more than a little bit for the comedic effect. He's not actually as bad as they should seem to show in parts of the series, I don't think. Anyways. After class. Phew! Rough day today, huh? Ah! What? Today wasn't... Dot dot dot. Ah! The Metro Line's opening today. Hey, let's surprise your dad down at the side lab. And we can pick up that power-up program for me. Good idea. Yep. We're going on a little bit of a trip now. Here. 
<laughs> yeah, we're gonna go on a little trip now. Over to where Lance's dad works. We got some stuff we wanna pick up there. And there's a metro in town now. Apparently there wasn't a metro before. And for the first time ever, we're actually able to see what the outside of the school looks like. And it's not too bad. And we have rabbits in a pen there. Okay. Hmm. Chip shop opening soon. Huh. Yep, this is the metro. Yeah. Is the ACDC Metro Line Station? Why do they look so glum on opening day? Looks like there was a landslide and we can't run. Oh great. And apparently it's not running. Landslide, we can't get tickets. That's unfortunate. There's an accident, the safety program should stop the trains, but the program was hit by a virus. It doesn't look like anyone broke into the control room, but we think someone got in through the net. Yeah, and we're gonna go home and have Mega Man check it out. Get online, I think. Because Go Get Online is like 90% of the Mega Man games. I don't. Well, the Mega Man Battle Network ones, which, to be perfectly honest, the Battle Network games are my favorite ones. I just think they're great. Sometimes copy the deleted navvies in the net. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Sometimes you can run into what he said there. Literally copies of NetNavis deleted in the past. Get rid of you. And most of the time it's like you walk into what you think is a dead end and you run into a previously deleted NetNavi who does not want to stay deleted. And you have to fight them again, only it's a stronger version of them. It, so like them, just more powerful. So let's get that, and then I'm gonna go over to the shop. By the way, time to kill some more viruses for some zenny, or... I may accidentally, on occasion, refer to Zenny as Credits, just because I forget the actual name sometimes, so don't be too hard on me when that happens, okay? 100 Zenny, okay. And Mr. Dash. And almost dying there to a cannon. Well, almost taking damage, I should say. Not like it matters, because like I said, you can't... You don't keep damage in between encounters. It recovers as a battle. And... These dash guys are another of the ones you can sometimes run into in more advanced forms. And yeah, I am actually trying to encounter that more advanced fireman. Believe it or not, I do actually want to meet him. Because I think it'd be kind of cool to 
kill him and possibly get a fireman battle ship. Is that something you can get from fighting and defeating? A net navigator clone, basically. The ghost state of one you've already beat. That's something you can get off of it, just. You can get their navi chips. Which, as you saw with Roll, it's basically just. They do one attack, but it's a really strong attack in comparison to what most chips do. But sometimes it has other effects too. Like, Rolls also heals you a little bit. Which is pretty handy. So let's finish this fight fast. And I only got rank 9. How is it I haven't managed to get S rank yet? And here's Mr. Fireman. So I succeeded in encountering him. We'll be killing this guy, I think. Swords are our best bet, until I can manage to get what I need for those super attacks, so I'll do an add turn. Some temporary fire on the ground there, which will burn until it goes out, basically. Do another add turn. I'd like to get that third class of cannon, <clears throat> if I can manage it. I don't know if I will, but I'm going to give it a shot. I think that's a no, by the way. But I will do this. That now. And I'll just area steal just for the hell of it. And I'm still not sure how he's able to move from that top row to that bottom row when they're missing. I mean, and after that one's recovered, it sure makes sense then, but not before. Now let's see if I can't manage to get that super attack thing. With the cannon. Apparently I can't. Oh well. I'll just finish him conventionally, I guess. Don't ask me why I'm holding out for this super powerful cannon thing. I just think it'd be neat. Because I never really managed to use these program advances, is what they're called. I never really managed to use these program advances very much. So I kind of want to mess around with them when I get the chance. Which is part of why I'm trying to find an excuse to do one here. But I'm not getting an excuse because the chips I'm being drawn are everything but what I need for the program advance. Oh uh, well. Rank 5, goodbye fireman, and that's his navi chip for us. And after that, I think it is possible to encounter like uh, version 3 and such a fireman as we just did. Like, I'm literally just chatting about it and we run into the his next version. But the thing with the versions after the one you encounter in a specific location as ghost data is like this, they have to be random encounters. You do not any longer encounter them in a certain location. <laughs> you just have to kind of mess around and see if he turns up at some point. Uh, we got lucky in that regard in that we managed to run into him right away. So, 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna manage to get a more high level version of his Navi ship or not, because if you beat the more advanced versions of certain opponents, you can't get better ships, essentially. <laughs> better versions of their current stuff, like, and for, like, your friends and stuff, you can get better versions just by progressing the story. Just to give you an example, later on in the story, you get Roll version 2 and Roll version 3, which, <coughs> they're basically the same effect as the Roll chip that you got from, that we got from Mail very recently. The main difference between the two, and this should show off the program in advance, the main difference between the two chips is that the later roll versions, they do more damage and heal more HP. That's basically it. Anyways, program advance time. Should be. Uh, cannon A, B, and C. Z cannon. Unfortunately, the Z cannon was not as useful as it could have been. <laughs> how flimsy Fireman is. It's kind of pathetic, and <coughs> what the Z Cannon gives you is the ability to fire unlimited cannons until you run out of time on it. But, because Fireman's not one of those people that doesn't go with transparent from the amount of damage he's taken. What I'm trying to say is, because Fireman goes transparent from damage so much, it, that sort of ability isn't really that useful on him. Now, Z-Spread. I think it's the same sort of thing, just with the spreader, but we will soon see. It is indeed. And again, not very useful on him. Now die. Somehow we encountered him twice in a row. And because I didn't kill him fast enough, I think, I only got the Fireman level 1 ship again. Which is nice, and if I could find room to put it in twice, it would mean I could use it two times. But I'm not really into that sort of thing. <clears throat> We've got 10,000 zenny now, so... First thing I'm gonna spend my money on, I think, is a power-up. And as you can see, with power-ups, buying them makes them more expensive. I'm gonna buy a couple of HP memories. <clears throat> I'll leave us at that 4,500, which puts us at a nice 180 hit points. So I'm going to now raise my Buster Charge ability. So now we're actually able to perform charge attacks. <clears throat> Unlike before, where that was literally impossible. Now die, virus. Quite a fast death, too. Open somewhere we don't know the address to. We gotta get permission from Dex to access his PC before we can go through. So, time to head on over to his house and get that permission so we can advance the storyline. As we gotta get all this access. Access right stuff eventually. 
cover 50 L ship. <laughs> and he'll give us access. And we have to go to Mail's house for that. Who coincidentally lives right next door to us. Panel without a junk in for. Uh, we're junking into her piano because we need this for cover 50 L chip. Because reasons. Because we need to access Dex's uh, thing to be able to check out this virus somehow. Though, why a virus affecting the metro line would be on his computer, I have no idea, really. Take another shockwave chip. I'm already full up on those, so I wish I'd be getting something else, honestly. Now we'll use roll to kill one of these fellows. And we can charge it off. Yeah. <laughs> So, this charge attack is basically Mega Man's version of the Kamehameha Wave. Yes, really. At least, that's the way I describe it. Because... It's the easiest way to explain it to people who don't know what Mega Man is. Anyhow... That's a recover 50L. And mail's address. Hopefully she doesn't mind us rummaging around in her network to grab some data. Oh, who am I kidding? No one ever minds in these games. They're all cool with it. Time to check our mail from Dex. The gutsman is ready to take you on if you're not chicken. Okay, then. Challenge accepted. Mm -hmm. Here you go. And he'll battle us. <laughs> Address access. So why not? I could use a good laugh. Kamehameha! And yeah, getting hit disrupts your charge attacks, and he will automatically punch you if you're on the front lines, so... <laughs> I advise not frontlining it, unless you actually... I advise not frontlining it unless you have a plan to deal with that. And... <laughs> in this game, and I think the second one, you can get away with that deliberately being on the back row crap which you cannot pull in game three. Because in the third game, Gutsman gets some pretty significant upgrades to his combat abilities, making him in some ways a pretty tough challenge if you're not focusing. Not the case here, though. Where if there's, where in the first and second, it's quite viable to just trick him into smashing an entire row and just stand on the back one, where it's impossible to be hit. That's an entirely viable strategy in the first two games. <laughs> Though, as I said, that does change in the third game. Yes, it does. Indeed. Okay. Goodbye, Gutsman. And we beat you again. See, 
you okay? Maybe the shock. Don't tell me you're not gonna give me a link again. Can't believe I've lost to you. It must be fate. I always keep my promises. The link is yours. There we go. Use this too. We got a gutsman chip. Guess he wasn't so bad after all. Yeah, thanks. And we'll jack in at his computer, I guess, just for the hell of it. But I'm gonna add Gutsman and Fireman to my folder, I think. As I said before, we can swap out a few of the recovery attempts, because <clears throat> those are honestly kind of worthless, just because 10 points of health is not really worth a damn, in my estimation. That's how you know the Metroids, or any virus for that matter, is a higher level. They're a different color. Yep, they color code the enemies in this game so you know what's a higher level. And it's quite handy. Sony Wave. It's like the Shock Wave, just better, essentially. We got Dex's address so we can access his computer. Maybe we can't use this to get on the network really quick, as I thought we'd be able to. So we'll just go to our house, and do the usual traversal crap. Okay, jack in. Head straight for the destination now. No, no screwing around or anything. Beyond killing viruses, we meet random encounters. That is, we'll dick around by doing that. Sure. There they go, and one attack. That is an S-ranked move, apparently. Killing everyone with a single move. As, <laughs> yeah. To get what's classified as an S rank busting rank on your success in a fight, this, essentially, in this game, you have to pull off a defeat of the enemies that is pretty much flawless. As in, there is literally no way you could have possibly done it better. That's the only way to get an S rank. That's the ice computer. And you have to do the version that's so perfect, there's no way to improve on it. <laughs> I don't tend to bother about rankings and stuff very much, to be perfectly honest. Not that I don't pay attention to them. It's just not something I really care that much about. S rank, but we don't get the battle chip for that bird thing. I kind of like the one that you get from the bird, because it's kind of handy. It's literally just a rush attack, where you zoom across the screen in one of the tile lines, and attack anything in between you and them, basically. 
now. Let's finish you idiots off. With some charging. Okay, let's get into the access thing. So that we can use this whenever we like. And bookmark his computer. <laughs> Whatever's in that particular green thing, we're unable to decode. I'm not sure why. Yeah, the white dex... White dex's system is the place where this me 